What is going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. Today we are looking at the Las Vegas Raiders and previewing the Tennessee Titans game. Uh, there's some interesting stuff that's kind of coming out of camp. I actually just heard that the Raiders may be making a shift on the offensive line. According to some sources, uh, Alex Bars is jumping to the left guard position. Jermaine Illuminor is going from right tackle to right guard. And Honor James is likely not expected to play again. Uh, if you guys know, yesterday the injury report came out. And Honor James was actually at practice. He had the red non-contact jersey. But things are not looking great for James. Now, of course, we'll find out as today kind of goes on. Practice kind of goes through. It comes to an end. We'll get another uh, update to the injury report. But apparently the offensive line is changing. Uh, Colt Miller will start at left tackle, Alex Bars will jump to left guard, and John Simpson has been pulled. That's the first interesting move because I felt that John Simpson needs to get pulled. I felt John Simpson needs to get replaced, and I've only felt like that because of the fact that his play isn't that great. Missed blocks, slow processing, he's not able to get to the second level, doesn't do a great job seeing different things that, that's happening out there. And Alex Bars may start. And when you consider the fact that we're about to go up against Danico Autry and Jeffrey Simmons, probably the best interior defensive line in the entire league, that's going to be a tough task to block. And I think having guys like Alex Bars start at left guard, Jermaine Illuminor jumping from right tackle to right guard, which is another thing that the Raiders are planning to do apparently, um, that gives you two veterans on the inside. Uh, Thayer Munford is likely starting at right tackle and keep in mind this is not a hundred percent confirmed this is just something that's kind of out there right now um so the raiders could have a completely different offense line now i don't know if this is the permanent move going forward or if it's only the move because andre james is out uh, i'm hearing that andre james is likely not going to play and if that happens then that means dylan parham gets to start at center now was parms was parham good enough at center last week that he may have just stolen the job from Andre James I think it's possible uh, I think Dylan Parham was pretty stout at center now he had I'd say about three or four losing reps but that's okay right he's a he's a new center uh, he's learning the position but an argument could be made Dylan Parham's the Raiders best offensive lineman right now a rookie is the Raiders best offensive lineman and I know people are going to say that's a that's kind of a stretch uh but it's really not. And if you want your best offensive lineman to be a certain player, center is not a bad position to have your best offensive lineman. Uh, center really controls so many of the calls and so many different things. And if Dylan Parham is the guy, then you put him in at, starter, at center and you let him start the rest of the season. Obviously, we'll see if it's only for this game. I do think I do think Andre James is a really good football player. And I think Andre James at center and Dylan Parham at right guard actually allows the Raiders to have a better offensive line. And I think Jermaine and Luminar at right tackle makes the most sense. Now, I don't know exactly how the old line's going to look against the Titans. I think we'll rotate regardless as the Raiders have kind of rotated. But Lester Cotton apparently isn't getting it done. And he's apparently been pulled. So, we'll see what the Raiders end up doing against the Titans. Do note, we do have Nico Autry and Jeffrey Simmons that we have to block. But it's not just those two guys. The front seven is pretty solid in general. Now, Bud Dupree, the outside linebacker, is out, which does benefit the Raiders. But they still have some good inside linebackers. Uh, David Long Jr. as well as Zach Cunningham are two really good football players. Um, even guys uh, in that front like Dylan Cole, John Jones, or, their, or Joe Jones, who are their, their backups, are pretty solid. And then the secondary is pretty solid, right? Kevin Bayard, a lot of people love. Uh, Caleb Barley, I think it's a first-round pick or second-round pick just two years ago or so, is a pretty solid player as well. Um, so for the Raiders, they really got to come together. Now, of course... Talking about their injuries, they do have some injuries on their offensive line. Um, their left tackle, Taylor Lawn, has already been ruled out, which means they will have uh, Dennis Daly, who I think is a three- or four-year veteran. They'll have him starting at left tackle, which means Chandler Jones is about to go against a left tackle that, in my opinion, is the easiest left tackle he's going to have played in the last three games. Uh, Rashawn Slater is a superstar. Rashawn Slater pretty much shut Jones out. DJ Humphrey's really good as well. Jones did beat him a little bit, but in my opinion, Challenge Jones has to step up this week. And if Jones can't get to the quarterback consistently, the way we've seen Max Crosby do, then Challenge Jones needs to get some, some reps taken away. And Malcolm Coons needs to get thrown out there. I want to see what Malcolm Coons can do. Now, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, even 
the right tackle for the Tennessee Titans, uh, is a rookie. It's actually Thayer Munford's former teammate, um, Nicholas Petit Freer. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, so they'll have a rookie at right tackle. They'll have an inexperienced left tackle. Uh, and from there, the Raiders should be able to win, right? Uh, and ultimately, of course, you got guys like Derrick Henry. You got guys like Traylon Burks and Robert Woods. Um, and in my opinion, man, Traylon Burks is the real deal. This may be the game where he breaks out, puts up 100 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, because it's just a matter of time until he actually does it. The offense line hasn't been good. Uh, but if the offense line can click, this is the game for it. Now, of course... Are the Raiders going to focus in on a rookie or Robert Woods, who is a pretty solid wide receiver, right? And I and I think it's going to be very important for Patrick Graham to really decide who they want to focus in on. Uh, Trayvon Merrick may play. He may not play. Denzel Perryman is likely out. Um, Belil Nichols will end up playing, which is great news for the Raiders. So we'll see what ends up happening this game, right? Um, of course, their offense is good. Their defense is good. But they're not great. But they do have one thing that's that's kind of uh, forcing them to play better than, than they may be. And that is the fact they are 0-2, just like the Raiders. The way the Raiders are 0-2, this Titans team is 0-2, which means they want to win just as badly as we do. Uh, the team that loses is likely at the playoffs, most likely in my opinion. Uh, being 0-2 is already hard enough. The Raiders have a 16% chance to make the playoffs. But if you're 0-3, it's that much more difficult. The Raiders got to pick up some wins. We play the Chiefs in a couple weeks. Uh, our schedule doesn't get easier, in my opinion, until towards the, like the back end of, of our schedule. Either way, this is going to be a very interesting game. Now, I will say this. Uh, the O-line may shift. It may not shift. We'll see what happens. But the Raiders got to run the football. I think Josh Jacobs has to get it going more, right? He averages 4.3 yards per attempt, which is pretty good, but... Let's get that up a little bit, right? Let's get that up to like 4.8. Let's get that up to 5.2. Let's get that yards per attempt higher. And, of course, I think Josh McDaniels is trying to do that with the offensive line. I think, of course, he's trying to keep Derek Carr clean, uh, trying to find the best five guys. Um, either way, man, I think the Raiders got to get it going. And I think Darren Waller has to pick his game up as well. And I'm not saying he's done a bad job, right? He's done a pretty good job. Average about 70 to 80 yards in the first two games. Uh, but Darren Waller is the biggest mismatch the Raiders have, right? You can double-team Devontae Adams because that's what the Cardinals did, and they shut him out. But you can't double-team a guy in the middle of the field because it's so much harder. He can turn right. He can turn left. How can you really bracket that guy, right? One guy can't play over the top and underneath because he can easily turn, and he'll beat both of those guys. Uh, when a guy's on the outside, it's easier, right? A guy can play underneath to the inside. The other guy plays overneath to the outside, vice versa, right? Um, so I need Darren Waller to step his game up against the Tennessee Titans. Um, this this game's huge, man. It's absolutely huge for the Raiders. Uh, the D-line has to play better for the Raiders. The O-line has to play better. And it's not like Max Crosby has to play better. We just need to get more sacks, right? How many times were we almost able to get to Kyler Murray and then not finish it off? And I get it. Kyler Murray's different. He's fast. He's quick. He'll run by people. Um, but that's not Ryan Tannehill. And I think for the Raiders, we got it show up and really beat up on Ryan Tannehill. You know, everyone says Derek Carr is better than Tannehill. Well, I need Derek Carr to prove it. At the same time, I need the defense to shut Tannehill out, right? Um, I'm excited. This is a very, very big game. We'll see if the actual offensive line shifts. If it doesn't, great. Uh, we'll see if their offensive line can come together. Hopefully it can. Hopefully the Raiders defensive line can beat them up. Either way, man, I'm excited. I want to know what you guys think about the O-line potential shifting, some of their players on their defensive side. How do you guys feel about Jeffrey Simmons, a former teammate of Jonathan Abram uh, in college? So let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.